heroes to villains are one of the most interesting dynamics in stories, and I think it's very important to write them correctly if you decide to use this in your own books. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can descend your hero characters into madness and slowly turn them into a villain over the course of your story. If you don't already know me, my name is Nat Cross and on this channel I dedicate all my videos to helping you turn your manga into a masterpiece. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that little subscribe button. It really helps support me and my channel and it also ensures that you never miss a new video. I upload new videos every week on how to create an amazing manga and you really don't want to miss them. So let's descend into the writing process together and talk about how you can create this interesting character dynamic in your own manga creation. My first tip for turning a hero into a villain is to foreshadow their potential villainous side. If you want this dynamic to be really realistic to your audience, you first need to subtly foreshadow it before this hero actually becomes a villain. You need to show their potentially villainous side when they are still considered as a good character in your book. They should do things that the other hero characters in your book do not. They might see things in very different ways and they may treat others in very different ways than your hero characters do. And that is a good way to foreshadow that they are a villain before you actually turn them into that character. And maybe by this point in the story, even they don't know that they will become a villain character. These are just some little aspects of their personality and the things they do in their day-to-day -day lives that is a part of who they are. And they don't realize yet that that might make them into more of a villain. It's just a part of who they are as a character. For example, while your hero character might be someone who is normally kind to others, you might have moments where they show a meaner or crueler side, and that's a way you can foreshadow their potential villainous side. So when you are changing a hero to a villain, consider what type of villain you eventually want them to become, and consider how you can show little subtle aspects of that personality in your hero character now in order to foreshadow it to your audience. My second tip is give them a seven deadly sin and make that their focus. The seven deadly sins are typically ordered as pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. The reason I'm talking about seven deadly sins in regards to turning a hero into a villain is because usually what causes them to descend into madness is actually the result of one of these seven deadly sins. So for example, if you're having a hero that you wanted to turn into a villain and their main seven deadly sin is greed, then they might turn into a villain due to a greed for money or greed for wealth or greed for fame or something in regards to that. And so that greed is what eventually causes them to topple over the edge. Or for example, if you're creating a character with wrath, then their wrath is what would likely turn them into a villain. They might want to get revenge in a way that is not a morally good way. And so that causes them to eventually shift into a villainous character. So when you are developing a hero and you want to turn them into a villain, consider what their seven deadly sin might be and use that to help you to shift them into a villain in a much more natural way. By choosing a seven deadly sin, you can ensure that their villainous shift is something far more natural and realistic in your story. My third tip is give them a strong goal that they would do anything to achieve. Heroes usually become villains because of their goals. If there is something that they really wish to achieve no matter what, then that goal might end up shifting them into a villainous character. It will likely be a result of their determination to achieve their goals. For example, if they want to save a loved one to them, if they have someone that's really important to them that they must save, the other hero characters might not have any solution. But they may find that by becoming a villain, they find a solution to this. Maybe they do something like Frankenstein and they do it in a really unorthodox way. And that is a way they shift into a villainous character because in order to achieve their goals, they find ways to do it in villainous ways. So in order to finally shift your hero into a villain, they need to have something that they want so much, they would be willing to do anything to achieve it. My fourth tip is give them an internal conflict. Descent from hero to villain should not be an easy process, and there should be a lot of internal conflict along the way, because they are essentially leaving behind who they were before and becoming a new character now. And so that's a difficult process, and they would likely go through many moments where they regret their choices, where they think about the bad decisions they're making, or they think about the bad decisions they've made in the past. And so there's a lot of conflict when you have a character going from being a hero into someone who is more villainous. There's a lot that they need to leave behind. There's a lot of baggage they need to unpack in their lives. 
The fact that your villain realizes that they are changing is something that should not be easily accepted because they were likely a hero throughout the whole story. And so the fact that they're now becoming someone who is not a hero should be something they really struggle with. There's likely a lot of things in their past that they have to let go. There's likely a lot of things they need to work through. And so all this internal conflicts should be something that is displayed as your hero character is slowly becoming a villain. My fifth tip is show what really eventually tips them over the edge. The hero should have a turning point that really turns them into a villain and there should be some aspect that really helps them to make this shift. For example, the one that really convinced them to become a hero in the first place might be gone and so they find they have no more reason to be a hero. They decide, what's the point of being a hero anymore? These things are going to happen. I'm going to become a villain instead and that is what tips them over the edge. Or in another example, someone close to them might have betrayed them and so they become a villainous character because they want to take revenge. They might have lost a lot of important things to them, and that causes them to become a villain. So there's many reasons why your hero character might be tipped over the edge, and it's very important to consider these reasons while you are developing them from a hero to a villain character. My sixth tip is show the external conflict. While your hero character is slowly becoming a villain, the other hero characters might suddenly notice their change in personality or their change in actions. And there might be external conflicts where there are characters trying to stop your villain from becoming this way. They might be trying to convince them to come back to the good side and convince them to do good things. And your villain character might protest against these changes. It should be natural that your hero characters would want to stop your villainous character from becoming that way. They might not even know notice until it's too late and when your villain comes back as a bad character they might try and pull them back over to the good side. So there should be this kind of tug of war between the hero characters and the hero that is now turned into a villain and that creates a very interesting dynamic that you could show in your own creative projects. My seventh tip is give them a reason behind their actions yet make it something that's bad. Just because you're turning your hero into a villain does not mean that their actions should be senseless. Consider the reasoning behind what your character does, even if it's not a morally good reason. For example, your hero might have a goal to actually rule the city, but the reason they want to do that is because they weren't really accepted when they were a hero. Maybe your hero character wants to save someone that is close to them, and in order to do that they become a villain and take on these make these bad choices because they really want to help this person who is close to them. Your hero character might have always been controlled by someone who is bad and when they finally defeat that controlling character, that technically makes them a villain now because they have made these choices. So you really need to give your hero character a reason for becoming a villain and when they are a villain they need to have a purpose. A character should not just make such a drastic shift for no reason, there should always be a reason behind your character's actions and especially in this case when you're having a character who was good before becoming someone bad, they need to have a really solid reason behind that and you should really display that not only to the other characters in your story eventually but also to your audience as well. My eighth tip is show the result of their bad choices. For every choice, there always has to be a result, and these consequences make your story realistic and memorable. So really consider what happens to your villain as a result of their actions. They might get in trouble for what they have done. They might get betrayed for what they have done. Other hero characters might not talk to them anymore, because villain's actions should not be taken lightly. And so there should always be a result throughout the world of your story, depending on what your villain has done. My ninth tip is make them opposite to the hero in your story. A foil character is someone who draws attention to the underlying aspects of another character, so essentially this hero to villain character should be someone who is an opposite to your hero character. So really consider your hero character's most prominent traits and make those traits opposite in your villain character's personality. Essentially, your villain character needs to reflect aspects of your hero's underlying personality. For example, if your protagonist is kind, your villain should naturally be someone who is cruel. If your protagonist is someone giving, your villain character is someone who should take or steal. If your protagonist is hesitant, your villain should take action. Your villain should show the opposite traits of your protagonist and then you should really fill in those gaps. Essentially, your villain should make up for the underlying aspects that your protagonist lacks. Your protagonist is the good side and your villain is the bad side. And that is what will make them into really entertaining and memorable characters throughout your story. Thank you so much for watching my video today everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what kind of heroes you're turning into villains throughout your story because I'd really love to hear about them. Feel free to chat with me on any of my social media at Midnight's Cross because I always enjoy hearing about the projects that you're creating. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!